Are you an imposter or are you unique? Have you noticed that these are two sides of the same coin? When we're feeling low, we want to fit in. We want to be part of the crowd. When we're feeling insecure, we want to blend into everyone else. We don't want to stand out. And this is when we feel like an imposter. This is when we notice most that we stand out. But when we're feeling good about ourselves, that's when our value comes through. That's when we bring our different ideas and we communicate them to others and we get those new things coming through. We bring experiences that, that people haven't previously heard about, that they haven't understood. We bring our creativity and that's our uniqueness which is coming through. Now, I'm Emma Cowling and I'm a leadership coach working with women in tech and I am going to be talking at the UCISA conference in May on um, the inconvenient imposter. So my slot is going to be exploring this idea of the difference between being an imposter and being unique and how our moods affect those differences in how we show up. I am going to be exploring some of the, the, the background behind what's going on in imposter syndrome and hopefully getting you to share your stories too so that we can start to see how this shows up for us as women in tech. So I will be there in person. I'm really hoping that I get to meet you and looking forward to seeing you there. Um, please do sign up. It's going to be so much fun and I hope that this has already started that you thinking about what imposter syndrome means for you.